Let's look at one further change in the architecture. Now this has already been built into the previous versions of the architecture, I just haven't gone through and explained it. Now, we have 16 possible variations of our jump if instruction. So if I drop down in here, we know that the jump if instruction comes from the flags. So the four flags we've got here are carry, a is greater than b, a is equal to b, and the zero. So if there's four of these, then we're going to have two to the power four, 16 possible combinations of these. And we've seen the 16 po possible combinations of the jump if command back in the first course. Now, I wanted to have access to the negation of each of these. So I wanted to be able to have a command, uh, not just the command jump carry, but I wanted to have the command uh, JNC, so jump not carry, or uh, uh, JNE, that's jump not equal, or JNZ, that's jump not zero. And also the negation of this here would be rather than A greater than B, would be B greater than A. Now, you don't actually need these because you can always generate the negation within your assembly language code. So, for instance, if I wanted to do um, jump not carry, then all I would need to do is I would write um, a little loop and I would say uh, uh, JC, so that's jump carry, and I would jump down to a line down here. So if that's not true, then it must be jump not carry. So jump not carry would just then continue down and do these lines here. So you can generate all of the negations via um, simple little uh, assembly language uh, loops or, or, or to but doing the jump properly. But my personal preference was to actually have access to the individual commands. So rather than relying on me um, just generating the correct assembly language. We can just have the jump of not carry, jump of not equals, uh, jump of not z, and jump if um, b is greater than a. So that's why I've generated the extra block here within the control unit. So again, this is just down to simple, my personal preference. You don't necessarily need to do this. So if I was to head down here, you can see that now I'm going to have to kind of adjust the screen about a bit, um, you know, in order for you to see exactly what's going on. OK, um, so you need to bear with me a little bit. So we're going to have the four outputs here from our instruction and these four values here, which in effect are the, the A register, are going to get into a 4 by 16 decoder. So that's going to give us 16 possible um, variations that we um, are of the jump if command. Now if I head down into this decoder, again I'll zoom out a little bit just so you can see it, but it's just a normal 16, 4 by 16 decoder that you've seen uh, lots of times before. Okay, now I know it's hard to see it this kind of, uh, it's hard to see this particular image, but we'll, I'll show you how it works at this level first and then we'll zoom in. Okay, so we're going to have our C, A, E, and Z, and I wanted to generate the negation of those. So I've generated the negation of those simply by going through um, a little not gate. So we're going to have our jump if not carry, uh, jump if B greater than A. And we're going to have a jump if not equal and jump if not z, okay? So those are the negations. So now we've got access not only to the C, A, E, and Z, we've got access to the negations of those. And the values 1, 2, 3, and 4 here will choose which one we're going to test. So we've got 16 that we can choose to test. So if I was to say test the very last one and I think you can just about see this here the colors so if I test the very last one you see the very last one has gone live here okay 
So this very last one is actually testing whether B is greater than A. So in order to test that, all we have to do is we have to have this little AND gate. Okay, so we know we're going through this test here, so this line has gone live. So there's two other things we're going to have to check. We're going to have to check and make sure that the A is greater than B hasn't gone live, because if that's gone live, it means that um, the value B is just not isn't greater than A. But if it hasn't gone live, then this value here, which is B, has then gone high. So it could be that B is greater than A. So I've got a little note here. We've got the B down the bottom here. So that goes high, okay? So that's really saying B is greater than A. But we don't know that that is actually the case because there is one other possibility. B could equal A. So we need to make sure that the equal hasn't gone high as well, okay? So again, we go through here uh, and we make sure that with the not equal, which is this one here, is actually high, okay? So that's the not equal is high. So as long as these three are high, then we're going to get an output here, which again heads up to the top, next layer up, and it feeds into the, the jump if command within the control unit. So that's just one example, okay? And I'm able to build up really whatever set of jump um, tests that I want that have got either the, um, the CAEZ or the negations of those. Uh, now I'll zoom in a little bit so that you can actually see this a bit closer. So again, uh, we were down the very bottom line here. So this is the bottom line here, and you can see the JB, and we also have to check, make sure it isn't um, uh, equal to as well. I've got a little note there saying that. So, um, and this is the test here for B is greater, and also it's not equal. So that's the uh, a very simple um change that I've made and I say I've made it really due to um, a bit of personal preference. Now you will see this whenever we build up some more uh, complicated line, um, programs within our um, assembler whenever we get to the assembler part of this, um, this course. But that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.